Hi, my name is Marco Cantu and I, I'm here to welcome you to the second video um, on REST in uh, Delphi. Um, I'm the author of several books on Delphi and an expert in web technologies as well and conference speaker. And well, I'm actually going to write uh, a new book on Delphi 2010 that will soon be available covering also REST uh, development. Now, this first video was an introduction to a very simple REST client. Now, in this second video, I'm going to show you uh, a few more uh, client applications specifically focused on uh, maps. Uh, the goal of this program is to read in a database with um, addresses of customers and just uh, grab the names of all of the cities that are referenced. Uh, and that's something we do on the database itself. The second step is to find the uh, latitude and longitude of each of these cities. Which... Okay, see here there are all of the locations. Some of them are actually not returned, not found by um, the Google services that I'm actually using to find the latitude and longitude of each of these cities. Okay, so let's look at the source code of this Delphi application. Uh, as in the past demo, I've used an Indie HTTP client component to do the actual geocoding operation. I'm going to skip the code to look for the cities because that's not uh, particularly relevant. What I want to focus on is on the geocoding code. So the first thing we have to do is we have to use a specific URL, HTTP maps, google.com maps, geo, and then we have to provide the address we're looking for. We can pick the output format, uh, XML, or actually in this specific case I'm picking a comma delimited file. And then there is a developer key that you have to enter into this program uh, inside an INI file to get the proper, uh, to let Google know who you are. And you need to apply for a developer key, which is a free service up to a given uh, rate, a given number of hits for a day. Now the re resulting text is just uh, this string response. Um, is something we can parse by loading it in a string list using the comma as line break. Because if we put place a breakpoint here and we get to that same place, you see the string response is actually the concatenation of several values. And what we are looking for is the third and the fourth value. So we're getting the item two and item three from this zero-based string list. And that's it. Now, of course, we need to do application process messages to get a proper display on the screen. And we also need to slow down our requests a little bit. Otherwise, Google, if uh, in case it receives too high of our request rate, will just stop the um, stop from responding and just return zeros. Okay, so that's the first example. In our second example of maps, I want to do something slightly more uh, interesting, which is actually be able to fetch an individual map. Now here is the specific demo for San Jose in California, and this is the map. Now, uh, Google Maps are extremely powerful and nice, but they don't provide a client-side uh, mapping operations. The only thing you can do is have them hosted inside a browser. Uh, while on the other hand, uh, Yahoo uh, lets you find the map for a given address and, this, and just grab an image corresponding to the map. So again, I can get the list of the towns, and then I can pick one like Houston and grab 
a map of Houston or let's go for Vancouver and grab a map of Vancouver or let's go to the West Indies and see if we can find a decent map okay so that's more or less the idea now let's look at the code which is somewhat in the same league again we have to go for a base URL API local Yahoo com map servers version 1 again you have to apply for a, a developer token a Yahoo application ID that you have to provide uh, and that I host inside an INI file now the way you process the results is slightly more different because the information we receive back from our request is actually some XML which does not contain the image but it contains the URL for the image so the steps here are grab the result parse the XML and grab the only node of the resulting XML, XML which is the name of the image and then do a second HTTP call I mean the first HTTP call is here give me the image address and the second HTTP call is here give me the actual image and then I save it to a temporary file and load it inside uh, a picture so again if we step through the code we can probably figure it out slightly better the string result the first result is this XML which has the um, image information we can probably see it better down here the the map data information and then we extract your URL and then we finally grab the picture save it to a local file load the file and here it goes so with this second example rather than getting back the latitude and longitude we're actually getting the specific um, image for the uh, address now in all fairness I do have another demo which is way more complicated that would actually let you host a Google map with the same locations inside um, a client application actually inside a browser inside the client application but the code here is uh, significantly more complex so it's not covered in the uh, white paper and I'm not actually going to cover all of the details uh, in this demo but just to make sure that actually there are more things you can do with the maps including hosting your own, your own uh, local Google map and that's it for the second demo of REST client applications written in Delphi focused on uh, mapping examples.